Hey guys, Daniel here. Been putting off making this video for quite some time, so I'm going to make it real quick. So, I have an issue where I need to buy gaskets all the time, and I was trying to figure out, can I make my own, whatever, and I came across this guy. This is a first generation Cricut cutter. Now, um, it's CRV001 for anybody that needs that information. I got a five dollars. Didn't come with the blade. Didn't come with the cartridge. Didn't come with the um, little sheet here. But um, what I did do, I mean, they still sell this, and they well, they sell the cutting blades, but for the newer models, I was able to find that on eBay. I was able to find the um, fonts thing on eBay because without the fonts thing and the overlay that they have for these things, you can't press any buttons. So I am in like $45, $50 on this. I bought it like beginning of 2020. Um, actually, no, it was a little later. Probably beginning of 2021. Man, time, whatever. But anyway, so I got all that, about 50 bucks. I needed a program. So I found ages ago, you could use this make a cut program or make the cut program I just remembered and um, you can use it on this machine but there was some lawsuit and then they took off that usability but I was able to find the old version of the program got all the right plugins from who knows where and it works um, of course I left it on my old computer so I had to find the files again and it works but let me show you what I gotta do alright so the first thing I do is I go ahead and put that in the scanner even though I got junk all over my scanner. Now that I've got the nice scan, all I've got to go through is cut out the shape and get it into a black and white file. And there you go. Now, I've actually got this, it's transparent on this, so I'm actually going to take out the white. Um, I just got to throw it on a PNG file and take it to the other computer. Alright, so now that I got it on the computer, just gonna pull up import, pixel trace, go into my documents, files, moped main gasket. I've already got my settings there. And this one seems to do pretty good. Import. And then I just gotta orientate it right. So down at the bottom here, rotate, that looks good, pull it up, oh, let me zoom out a little bit there. Now this one may be a little too big, but we'll give it a shot anyway. I realize with my printer I have to take it down a little bit there because it's going to hit on the top. So, I'll load us up on some paper and I'll be right back. Alright, I don't know if I can do this with two hands. Load that in there. Hit load paper. Oh, oh no, went in sideways. Let me go ahead and get that. Now that we're loaded, um, there's the stop button right there. So at the end of this thing, when it prints out for me, I just have to make sure to hit that so it doesn't slash it out. So now this doesn't always work, but I do cut with project, cricket, and then you got to go through continue indemnity mode, say no for registering. Um, I just have it on extreme. Chances are the size is not going to be perfect, so I'm going to have to finagle with it a little bit until I get it right. But we'll go ahead and start. Any minute now. Dun, dun, dun. This happens all the time. I'm just going to restart the printer. And third time is the charm. So it'll actually show you what it's cutting. It is really nice.
and stop. There you go. Front load paper. Well, you can't see it in there. I'll take the rest of the paper off. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand than I thought. For some reason, the bottom of this is extremely extra sticky for some reason. And just the center. So yeah, I just have some very, very minor adjustments to make. But it actually does really, really nice. So yeah, honestly, all in all, this works a lot better than I ever expected to do. So um, yeah, that's that. I wish I could tell you where I found all the drivers need to get all this stuff working. But it's been so long since I did it, I just happen to have the files on my computer. Which actually, I messed up my Windows on my laptop that I had it on originally. And luckily I could just transfer it over to my desktop here. But uh, it was a pain. But I'm happy. It works. It's doable. So this is 2021. <laughs> this thing still works. So I'm happy with that.